This is Dr. Krause. I have no idea where the audio in this thing is. This is an old laptop of mine and it may or may not work. Uh, but I want to show you how to configure Spider. So after you've got Anaconda, in Anaconda installed, you should be able to go to All Programs, Anaconda, and then Spider with a Y. Now the Y is to reference Python, I'm pretty sure. Um, brings up an environment. It's an integrated development environment that probably will feel a lot like MATLAB and maybe be comfortable for many of you. Um, in some ways it would not be my personal preference, but that's not important. And so over here on the left, you have a browser for your code or a text editor, so you can look at whatever file, and if you wanted to, you could click this little green triangle, whatever. And then over here on the right, you have the actual window. The problem is, until we get the thing configured correctly, it doesn't know what pi is, it doesn't know the plot command, that kind of thing. So I want to show you how to configure it. So by default, it opens up um, and imports things into the global namespace that help you do those kind of things. So if you go to Tools and then Preferences, and then click on the IPython console. Uh, that's what's running over here in the bottom right. And then go to Startup. And then click on Use the following file. Now that file will probably not show up in yours by default. I was already using it. So you have to hit this little browse button and uh, go to this path, c colon anaconda slash lib slash site packages slash spider lib and then choose scientific startup and click apply. Then hit OK. And then the next time we restart spider, it should automatically import those scientific packages that we need. So now, once the IPython window starts, if I come over here and I say what is pi, whoops, if I spell it correctly, very complicated to spell two letter words, or plot, it at least knows that those are functions, and I can test it out by asking it so a range means create an array over a certain range. In this case, 0 would be the starting point, 1 would be the ending point, and 0 0.01 is the step. So my time vector looks like that. And it automatically knows these kinds of scientific commands, and then it also knows the plotting command. And so if you're able to recreate those things, I think you have Spider configured in a way that is Uh, Spider is not the only option for using Python in Windows, so I'm going to show in our next video how to do um, just a regular IPython console, but to also configure it to use PyLab.